Hello everybody and good morning. Good morning, good morning. Tiffany is still bothered a little bit by her throat, so she's gonna try and be as quiet as she can be on the vlog today. But you have a cough? Huh? <laughs> she wants me to translate for you and I'm not good at this. <laughs> What? You have no fever and no cough. Yes, so that's good. And her throat doesn't hurt her all day. I'm going to try and make her drink some like cranberry juice to see if that will help her throat feel better. Because, I mean, it's supposed to help you feel better if you have a UTI, so... <laughs> Maybe it'll help with the, the sore throat, too. <laughs> you put what? <laughs> this is not fun for me. I'm going to talk just not all the time. You're going to talk just not all the time. Okay. Well, Aunt Sue is coming to get that cat tree today. So, you want to go out there and say goodbye to it? <laughs> goodbye, cat tree. It took us forever to put together. That is true. It did. Oh, yeah, because we were sitting on the floor, right? Yeah, her leg hurt so bad, is what she said. So. But it's, it can't make for a fun vlog. So. No, it's not making for a fun vlog at all, especially for me. <laughs> I guess what we can do is just, uh, it'll probably be like a shorter vlog today. A short vlog, okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna have to do most of the talking today. No, I think you'll be all right. I really just want to get done with this last paper so I can get out of this spot. Yeah, I know. People are probably sick of you sitting in that spot. I'm sick of you sitting in this spot. I'm sick of you sitting in that spot. Do you want to sit here? No. Sit in your nice chair. I might sit in that that chair later. Mm-hmm. It's Sunday. Yes. Yeah. I just like Sundays. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna go wait for Aunt Sue to get here because it'll be she'll be here any minute. So see you guys later. What are you doing? I am writing out some thank you cards. You are. I am. Um. It's gonna take a while for some of these to get out because. We were just blessed with so many items, but um, if you purchased off the Amazon registry and you included your address when you purchased the stuff, you're definitely going to get a thank you card. And then right now I'm working on ones who didn't purchase off the registry, so I actually have to email a couple of you to get your address because I lost it somehow. Whoopsies. It was a little overwhelming. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh, that does not feel too good to keep talking. It just got lost in, you know, the shuffle of things. So I'm looking to message a couple of you, and I've got quite a few cards. These are what I've done so far today. That's super nice. And then I've got another stack over there. So, and Prim was helping me earlier. She was hanging out right here, but she moved. Oh. You really love that Coochie Kopi pillow. It's actually like really comfortable because it's not as bulky as this, uh -huh. but it still provides me a little bit of support. So I feel like you're smashing him. Well, he likes it. <laughs> <laughs> so I just want you to know I took an Instagram photo of those tacos you made for lunch. Okay. And a couple of people have already commented about how they are eating tacos now. Really? Uh, Lisa Sweeney wrote, uh, <laughs> just so you know, tonight's dinner is now tacos. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I. That is so amazing. Uh, Stacy wants us to mail her some also. I think they'd go bad by then. Probably. But how is it that you can make tacos for me and they look just like they came out of a restaurant and they're just the most perfect 
everything you They're make. All about the presentation. You eat with your eyes first, so. So why don't you, you like, like try for Master Chef or something? Oh heck no! I don't know half of the stuff that they make. I have a feeling though that most of those people like they learn a lot of the stuff there. They might. You know, like they watch the video or something and learn how to do it. Yeah. Mm. I don't know. I, I got another up. one minute or so in me to keep talking and then I need to rest again. I'd end up giving uh, Chef Ramsay raw chicken or something and I would be so embarrassed. So, I would be so embarrassed. Like, I would never be able to show my face go up there. in public again. I would never be able to vlog again. I would be traumatized. Wow, you're really like making me feel bad about this. Well, you know how I am about my food. What about a baking challenge then? Like what? Like like Zumbo's just as <laughs> what's his name? <laughs> Zumbo's just desserts. Yeah. Well, I think that's in Australia, so that'd be quite quite a ways to travel. We could go stay with Michael. We could. I could get a haircut all the time. You could. And you could go there. <laughs> okay. Well, what about I'll the Great British Bake Off? You probably have to be British. I don't know. We could go move in with Attain or Sophia. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, if they wouldn't mind. There's there's campers everywhere that could could house us. Yeah, someone offered, um, I don't remember where she was from. I think it was down south somewhere. Mm -hmm. Louisiana, maybe. Okay. But she offered to show us a good time. Wow, that's awfully nice. It would be really cool I to, like... You know, I mean, obviously you got to be careful this day and age. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit dark. There it goes. But it would be really cool to do some sort of, like, tour. I've said that from the beginning. Like, can we it's... sleep on your floor tour? Can we sleep on your floor tour? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. You would be miserable sleeping oh, on your floor. Oh, I would. I really would have to go stay <laughs> at a hotel. You know, the worst part about it is the bathrooms. Yeah. Like, I, I'm willing to uh, to bet that everybody has, like, a really clean bathroom. But there is something about, I like to just be able to go in the bathroom and not feel rushed. I know. Stop it. I know you do. You're Lots of people like to sit in the bathroom. minutes every morning. I don't understand it. I don't understand how you, both you and Rachel, you guys don't have to get up to use the bathroom right away, though. So how do you deal with me in the bathroom? I have to go. I just hold it. Oh. Which is going to be pretty difficult these next few weeks. Once little man gets bigger. Huh. He's been moving a lot, huh? Because I've noticed you have been going to the bathroom quite a bit. Like he more. Has. He has been moving quite a bit. Mm. Yeah. So she wants on your, on your chest there. Do you see that? Yeah. Got a little. Yeah, she's looking at you. She's trying to figure out how to get up there. Well, watch Mama's the rue busy. as she grazes Mama's the got to pasture. Write out some thank you notes, which I actually have to go buy more of too. Cause I ordered those, didn't I? Um, no. Oh, who are you writing one out to next? I need to write one out to Anna, and I need to write one out to Deb. Anna Burt. I gotta get their addresses. Deb, we don't have Deb Whipple's address. I don't think so. I will never forget that she sent us the poopery. The poopery. I loved making that poopery video. Did you? That was a really funny video. You need to make more videos like that. Instead of challenges, you need to make more like funny videos. Like I know, that. but I got a little discouraged after I did the tiny hands video, which I, I thought was so funny. Yeah. I had no idea that so many people were going to be offended by it. I laughed so hard through. The... You know, you have to realize that. Someone is going to be offended about everything that you do. I know. I take it to heart more than I thought I would. I do, too. But, I mean, you can't even breathe without someone being offended. I made so. both of those videos. All three of the videos that I made, actually, I did the hot dog one without you. You did? And I, I laughed so hard. I was so excited for you to see it. Yeah. The poopery one. And the tiny, hands one. the tiny hands one. And by far, the tiny hands one is my absolute favorite. You did a great job. Like, you make really good videos when I'm not breathing down your neck. So Well, I don't ever consider <laughs> you breathing down my neck. Well, what are you doing, babe? She's the star of the vlog. What are you doing? 
That little rubear. Where are you going? Okay, she's just coming no matter what. Yeah, because she, she wants to be on your chest now. No, because you wouldn't let her on yours. Now she's just going to sit on my computer. When I'm trying to learn about Glasser and Strauss here. Well, I'm sorry. It's fine. I'm so sorry. I think I'm going to have to make a Facebook post and ask these people to, to message us. I'm sure they'll see the vlog tomorrow and just message us. Maybe. Is it just two, those two? Just those, those two. Okay. As far as I'm aware, yeah. Well, I know they both watch the daily vlogs, so. Okay. If you guys see this message, please send us a message via Facebook. Yeah. Anna Burt and Deb addresses. Whipple. I don't know how we lost those. I don't either. Deb's daughter is expecting too. She's a little bit behind us, I think. Oh, really? Yeah, so that's going to be exciting for her. Yeah, that's really exciting. Yeah. Do you know if it's a... I don't remember. I, I don't remember I'm, either. Listen, all I'm thinking of is how data is collected right now. <laughs> so I can remember a few things, but not everything right yeah. now. All right, well, I'm going to get back to writing some of these thank you notes. Because okay. Because I've only got like 20 minutes, and then i got to go to my mom's for dinner. Okay. Okay, folks. So, when we did our online baby shower, we received this gender prediction kit. <laughs> now, we've already had multiple ultrasounds telling us what we are going to have, um, but we thought it would be fun to do it anyways to see if it shows the same thing as see the ultrasound. See if it's accurate. I yeah, mean, yeah, see so, if it's accurate. so what's inside of it? So, what is in the kit? There is this... Um, a test tube. I think it's in foam because of so it it's glass. And inside of the test tube, there's like. <laughs> can you take that? Yeah. Thanks. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, there's stuff in it there. It looks like pink and blue sprinkles. <laughs> looks like sugar sprinkles. Okay. Um, there's also a syringe and no, the no. instructions. Oh, okay. I don't um, have instructions. Do you already take them out? Oh, yeah. Okay. The instructions are, I have to pee into a cup, a clean cup, fill up the syringe with my pee, and then put it in the test tube and shake it for 20 seconds. And then on the instructions, here. Okay. Something really quickly. Something really quickly? <laughs> Was that funny? We have to compare the color of the test tube to these colors. If it's like a darker blue, it's a boy. If it's a green, it's a girl. All right, well, I so, guess that seems easy enough. Uh, we are going to take a quick pause here. Okay. Oh, you so don't want to pee on, on camera? No, no, That'd be kind of weird. Yeah. Kind of gross. I think we did dinged on YouTube. <laughs> we're dinged every day anyway, so it doesn't matter. No. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to fill the test tube, and we'll shake it and show you guys what we get. All right. Okay. What All are right. you doing? I'm putting the sample into the <laughs> test tube here. Hmm. And I'm gonna close it off. And I'm gonna shake it. Okay, you so you're shaking it. Seconds. Sure. <laughs> One, two, it is. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Eleven, twelve, There's thirteen, counter, fourteen. Actually. Oh. <laughs> Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Keep going. It's looking green to me though. <laughs> oh my god! It really is so far. Okay. <laughs> you literally have like three seconds left. Okay. <clears throat> Shake for 20 seconds. Um. <laughs> I'd say it's green. Okay, well, there's clearly something wrong. Because, <laughs> first of all, your the sample was pretty clear yeah. when it started. So there's no way it's just leftover residual from the sample. Yeah, it does say until powder is dissolved, and I see some little blue things floating around in there. Okay, so... But it also says it's not for people who are looking for an unequivocal result. What is it, it is for? Is it for fun? Just for to... people who want to have fun for entertainment purposes only. Hello, I've got a gender kit, and it really is just playing with your pee. <laughs> do do, it's not for it's concrete green. results. Congratulations, babe, we're having a girl! Uh, that's not what the, uh... <laughs> that's not what the one, two, three, four, five ultrasounds in all the photos? Uh, well, at least three ultrasounds. Wow, okay. Well, I'm going to write... We got a pretty clear 
picture of it last time. Yeah. So. I mean, the time before that, I might have been a little skeptical. Yeah. But little man was practically waving that thing in front of us, being, <laughs> like, really happy that he had it. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Yeah. I know what you mean. So, what do we do now? Well... Are you still playing? Oh football? my gosh, wait, wait. Do, wait. Are we having twins? No, we are not having twins. There is not two babies in there. There could be. I would I would be popped way out, way further than I am. Okay. Well, it's kind of funny because I thought maybe that since we were so far along mm -hmm. that the test would be invalid. It would be blue for sure because... Every single doctor has told us it's a boy. Right. You know, so I was like, this really isn't too fair being almost 25 weeks. Well, I mean. It says right on the front, for entertainment only. Well, seriously, what kind of entertainment is it? And now we're back with Play With Your Pee. <laughs> for entertainment purposes only. It was fun, though. Yeah. I mean, it did look like you were just dissolving sugar sprinkles in there, but. I don't know, my idea and your idea of fun seem to differ because yeah. I'm not really one to play with my my waist well <laughs> I'm, I'm just either. kidding babe well you're a good sport for trying it out Thanks. yeah so has anyone tried a gender prediction kit like that and uh had accurate results i'd like to try a couple more actually you i'd like you to try them oh okay yeah i wonder what would happen if i tried it i don't know that would be funny though yeah it? hmm hmm maybe i'm not pregnant but whoa <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Babe, you've been standing here for like 10 minutes. Well, tomorrow, as you know, I have my practicum. Yeah. And I need clothes. Okay. Well, looks and like I, you've got a lot of clothes in there. I know, but this is what happens though, okay? Uh-huh. The clothes that are like easiest for me to reach are mm -hmm. the ones I choose from. Okay. So right now, this shirt's like sticking out. Yeah. It's like, hey. And look what it is. A Tiffin Carey shirt. Catch you on the flippity. I feel like it's a sign. You can't and wear that. I can't that, wear though. that shirt. No. And I'm sad about it because that's the shirt I want to wear. Because it's sticking out to yeah. you? It's like calling your name? Yeah. So I should probably wear a sweater. Uh -huh. But it's supposed to be a little bit warm tomorrow. So. And you know I'll get burned hot. And then I have this one little sweater vest. But I feel like it makes me look pretentious. Pretentious? Yeah, it's like all I need is a monocle and like a teacup. I don't think it makes you look pretentious. A little. I think... <laughs> I I don't think it does. Should I wear this pink shirt? Boy, campers, you guys are getting a really in-depth uh, look into my closet here. I got some pretty, like, <laughs> revealing clothing. What about this? You can't wear that alone. I could wear a sweater under it. Or over it. You could. Look at the lace on it. Wow, that's really girly for you. I know. I have, you bought it for me. I know, and you like it. Don't tell anyone that. Why? I don't know. Okay. I'm probably going to be here for another hour. Well, hurry it up. You've got this a vlog to do. This literally happens every Monday. Or every Sunday, Sunday night. Yeah. Yeah. Well... What do you guys do? Like, how do people actually pick clothes out? Because a lot of times, if we just do laundry, uh -huh. I just grab whatever's hanging up. Yeah. You know, because it's like, oh, I've already worn that. I know it fits well. I know I look good in it. Mm -hmm. In fact, this shirt, I think I might have had on yesterday, too. It's my weekend shirt. I have told all the campers before, if I'm not leaving the house... I know. There's nothing wrong. What? What? <laughs> you want to be on the vlog? Huh? She likes it when I put my arms like this, mm -hmm. and then she'll, like, sit down in them. It's kind of like our own version of if it fits, I sits. Well? Yeah. Come here. Come here. Looks like she enjoys it. She does. Oh, she's purring so loudly. Is she? Yeah, are you being careful? Because I got cream colored shorts on today. Yeah, so I'm being careful. You gonna watch The Walking Dead tonight, Katniss? Yeah, we are. Katniss, you gonna watch it? Maybe we'll watch American Idol too. No. Yeah. It's on tonight. Uh, I've already seen my guy on there. I yeah. don't need to watch it until they're down to the top 12. Okay. Okay. 
Well, I'm, I still might watch it. And you have that right, madame. Thank you. Okay. We should probably close out the vlog, though, because I need to rest my voice again for an hour. Okay. I got to do something real quick, and then we can close it. I'll be right back. Okay. I Look had to us. go. I had to go jiggle the handle on the toilet because it was sticking. Oh, your breath smells good. Mine does? Yeah, where it's Katniss's ears. It smells a bit what fruity. Just eat? Well, I had a sip of grape soda. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I had a uh, Hershey's Christmas Mint Bell. From oh, one of those peppermint things you like? Yeah. Last year. <sighs> there she goes. Not this most recent Christmas, but the Christmas before that. Mm -hmm. I ate like 10 bags of those mints. I bought two of them this year. <clears throat> and I haven't even finished off one bag yet. Because we haven't been eating any sweets. I really think that's part of my weight loss, too. It is. Because you haven't been baking hardly anything. I haven't. I mean, I think you've baked one cake in, like, the past month. Yeah. Wow. And that was for our birthday. Things change. Yeah. The old <sighs> man has really curbed my cravings for sweets. He's running the roost. Yeah. Man, she is warm. Yeah. Well, all right, guys. We are going to head out. Yeah. Um... Thank you so much for everything. You guys know we appreciate you mm -hmm. more than you'll ever know. Yes, thank you so much. And thank you for sharing us with your friends. And we'll catch you guys on the flippity.